Ever pondered why some people's sneezes resemble a sonic boom? It's a question that has baffled many, and today we'll dive into the science behind those loud room-rattling sneezes. One might think that such sneezes are purely for dramatic effect, but there's more to the story. Neurologist Alan Hirsch likened the sound of a sneeze to the sound of a laugh. Some are loud, others are soft, and it usually stays the same throughout a person's life. This suggests that a sneeze's volume can reflect an individual's personality and unique traits. Interestingly, societal norms also play a role in sneeze volume. Men, who are less pressured to maintain quietness, often sneeze louder. A study by Live Science found that slightly over 45% of men identified as big sneezers, while 32% of women reported suppressing their sneezes when possible. However, a sneeze isn't just a reflection of one's subconscious. Anatomy also plays a crucial role. The size and capacity of your lungs can influence the loudness of your sneezes. As noted by rhinologist Richard Harvey, the longer you hold your breath, the more dramatic the sneeze. The way you sneeze matters as well. Sneezing through your mouth will be louder, whereas sneezing through your nose tends to be messier. Now, you might be wondering, can stifling a sneeze make it quieter? Indeed it can. But beware, holding in a sneeze can be dangerous. The pressure from a sneeze is so intense that suppressing it can damage blood vessels, rupture an eardrum, or even trigger an aneurysm. It's far safer to risk a loud sneeze than to invite potential harm. In summary, the volume of a sneeze is influenced by a combination of factors, including individual personality traits, societal norms, and physical anatomy. So the next time you're startled by a loud sneeze, remember, it's not just theatrics. It's a fascinating interplay of psychology and physiology, and remember, it's always safer to let that sneeze out no matter how loud it might be. Because as the saying goes, it's better out than in.